Scorpio, this is reading for September. See which cards you have. You have the King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the King of Cups, and the High Priestess. King of Cups is urging you to know exactly what you have around you. Be grateful for everything that you've managed to achieve. Sometimes I think you take yourself down a bit of a rabbit hole and decide to beat yourself up in private so that nobody can see what's going on really behind the scenes. But this month I'm urging you to acknowledge everything that you've managed to achieve and to be super proud of everything that you've done. Underneath the king we have some waves and they're quite turbulent. And that's everybody else around you who have got their issues. But as a Scorpio, you're really rather good at picking up everybody else's problems and wearing them and thinking that it's you that's not good enough. And that's just not the case. Really, in all reality, you're surrounded by people who have got major problems, who are not pulling their weight, who are not doing what they should be doing in the situations that you're involved with them in. Now is the time for you to think differently about your worth and your value system. Know that you've gone through plenty in your life, that you don't need to learn any more of the major lessons, and just leave them where they are. Stand back and be objective, and look at them in a different way, and you'll really see that actually it wasn't you that had the problem all along. It was, strangely enough, them. Your Queen of Pentacles comes in, and she says, you're very good at putting in all the hard work, and you get the rewards. Again, be really proud of what you've managed to achieve. So on two levels, the universe is really trying to tell you, don't doubt yourself. And yes, I know it's really easy for Scorpio to stay in the darkness, and to think that everything is bad around them, and that they're bad and they, they've got major problems. But Scorpio, you haven't. This month the universe is urging you to understand exactly what you've managed to put, get yourself through and where you are and what you've managed to achieve through adversity. The Queen sits here on her bank account and if financial matters have been difficult as of late, things will be getting an improvement very, very soon. So watch this space. The Nine of Cups comes in and the Nine of Cups asks you, to work out what is it that you would like going forwards because before this cup we have the this card we have the seven of cups and that's about what wishes would you like to have and the nine of cups is all about wish fulfillment what is it that you would like to have fulfilled what are your wishes sometimes wishes are just like dreams and they disappear but what are your challenges positive challenges that you would like to achieve write down your nine wishes but we have a bumblebee stuck at the bottom of this picture. And don't be resentful about certain things that you maybe need to let go of from the past. Don't bring those things forwards with you on your journey. Understand what it is that you would like to achieve going forwards. You've got nine options here. And the universe is really trying to make it happen for you. So allow it. However, we have the Eight of Swords, which I've kind of already covered uh, in the earlier card, because I've said to you to not be persecuted by everybody else's not good enough badges. And here you say in yourself, because this card is the card of entrapment, stuckness, imprisonment, and you're feeling stuck and trapped by everybody else's thoughts. These aren't your thoughts. These are their issues. So come out again, like I've said to you before, come away from the darkness and use all these swords in a way that you can use them positively, a bit like the Nine of Cups, nine new challenges, nine new wishes, nine new desires. With the Eight of Swords, you've got eight new directions you can go in. You've got eight new thought processes. And instead of being uh, cluttered in your head about what you're doing, well, more to the point, totally stuck, why don't you look at every single option that you've got around you and allow it to work positively for you? The emotion around in the waves in the background of this picture are definitely, again, about everybody else. They're just a hoover for everybody else's problems. And now, really, I'm going to say, just understand what you need to do to release yourself from these old habits and allow yourself to move forward in a nice, positive way. 
because we have the second King of Cups here. Across the universe is really telling you, you've got to rate yourself. You've got to stop adhering to old patterns, old addiction, old beliefs, old abuse system, old ways of thinking. And wherever it resides, change how you're thinking. Because here, the King of Cups is saying that you've got everything that you need around you. Stop focusing on the things that you don't need to bother yourself with and start focusing on exactly what you do need to focus on. Because your last card is the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is asking you to really know deep inside exactly what you need. And you must start giving yourself that exact thing. What is it that you need? How is it that you need it? And mainly, don't think about it. Write it down. Write down everything that you need around you. But also, don't ever not listen to that tiny wee voice deep inside you, because it always gives you the right answers. And when we don't trust our intuition, that gut feeling, and that tiny wee voice that chats away to us at all times of the day, if we don't listen to it, we then kick ourselves because we knew we were right straight away. So why have you let everybody get away with murder, in essence, for so long? This is a big time for you to make some big changes. And this month, those changes are going to happen.